So today, we're going to be going over the three main essentials for every Moe's player out there. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. Quick disclaimer, we will not be talking about any grenades or artifact. Hey, we're talking about the three main essentials. Obviously, grenades and artifacts are very useful, but we're talking about the three main essentials. At least in my opinion, the three main, okay? Now, you're obviously going to need to get yourselves a weapon. Now, the best weapons for Moe's are either a Malawan SMG, Malawan pistol, or a rocket launcher. Now, bear in mind, most can work well with any weapon, honestly, in the game. However, for the uh, the like top tier, go get your hands on a free radical, a flipper, a crit, which is a base game, no DLC required weapon that you can easily get from Moxie over in Sanctuary. And then for the rocket launcher, luckily for us, uh, Borderlands 3 has all of the best rocket launchers. Uh, they are all no DLC required. And the Plague Bear, Back Burner, and the Yellow Cake. Uh, Yellow Cake you get from Cartels, Plague Bear you get from Agonizer 3000, and then the Back Burner you get from the War. Warden. You get the flipper from DLC 3 and then you get the free radical from the seer in DLC 6. We have all the power in the world uh, with our skills and we have good, very good synergy with these weapons uh, that we just listed. Once again, just want to say though, most can make do with just about any weapon in the game. Next thing you'll need is a very, very good shield. For base game players, go ahead and try to get your hands with something like a transformer, a red suit, any form of an ant shield, or even a stopgap could work really, really well. For uh, people that have the DLC, obviously an old god is always a tried and true shield, very, very solid. And then we have additions of things like the Infernal Wish, we have things like the Revolter, you have things like, and then things like the Plus Ultra and the Madcap as well. Just overall, a pretty uh, decent variety of shields to choose from in this game which is uh, very 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 good uh, in all situations you know your shield is going to be very important especially since you're Moe's uh, you get a lot of shield bonuses depending on how you want to spec your tree overall just got your hands on a very solid shield last but certainly not least is going to be our class mod of choice luckily for us basically Moses, some of Moses' best class mods are all base game. Uh, the top three include things like the Blastmaster, the Minesweeper, which we got right here, and the Bloodletter, right? The, uh, the trio, per se. Blastmaster, Bloodletter, and then the Minesweeper, which we have equipped. Uh, if you have DLCs, you know, things like the Sapper and the Flare can work well. But overall, man, those three, Blastmaster, Bloodletter, and the Minesweeper are my go-tos each and every single time. Very, very good that we have a lot of good class mods to choose from, from right out of the base game. And with things like the Loot the Universe event going on right now, if you wanna head over to the Droughts over on Pandora, you can go ahead and farm quite the bit of class mods, especially if you have things like the Schluter artifact as well. It can be very, very solid. Uh, but yeah, that's gonna be like the top three main essentials. I'll go, I'll do a, a, an honorable mention real quick, real quick. Now the honorable mentions will be things like your grenades and your artifacts, and then obviously your skill trees luckily uh you have almost access to all the skill trees regardless of deals which dlc you have unless you don't have dlc 5 then you don't have big sexy surplus which is basically what i use the bear by the tree 99 percent of the time for but for the most part mo once again moses main skill trees are going to be the green the blue tree and then the red tree the grenades uh any hex grenade any mitosis hunter seeker any uh obviously cloning mining tractor is very very good if you have uh dlc 6 any company man dlc 2 obviously the pearl is always going to be tried and true then any form of a deathless uh and then any sort of uh like vic rush or like another good one is a good solid uh, cup purse just for the utility factors for certain builds uh, allowing you to very easily get your ammo back all right guys that is going to just about wrap up the three main essentials you need for every single mose out there so yeah just figure we go ahead and make this short little video going over everything uh you know going over some essentials and stuff like that you know there are still some new players you know things like the universe going around right now it could be a very very good time to go ahead and farm up some of the actual gear that you need but yeah thank you all so much for watching hope y'all enjoyed my name's Cree. we'll see y'all in the next one peace out everybody